In this video, we will discuss the most basic and important rule in electrical engineering world, which is Ohm's law. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Ohm's law describes the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. I'm sure that you have seen this equation before, V equal I times R, or voltage will equal to current times resistance. Voltage is measured in unit volt, current is measured in unit ampere, resistance is measured in unit ohm. Using this figure, we can define Ohm's law as the voltage across this element is equal to the current that passes through this element times the resistance of the element. For a constant resistance, as the voltage increases, the current will increase too. If the voltage decreases, the current will decrease too. So we have now a linear relationship between voltage and current for the same resistance. For a constant voltage, if the resistance goes up, the current will go down, and vice versa. So, current and resistance have an inversely proportional relationship for a constant voltage. Fantastic! Let's try a practical example. For a 12 volt battery and 4 ohm resistor, we can calculate the current that passes through the resistor. Applying Ohm's law, I will equal to V over R. Voltage across the resistor is 12 volt over 4 ohm. Now current is equal to 3 amperes, which are the same current that passes through the circuit. For a 3 resistors connected in series with a battery voltage of 120 volt, the current that passes through each resistor are the same because they are in series. So using Ohm's law, Current will equal to voltage across the three resistors together over the total or equivalent resistance for the three resistors together. So current will equal to 120 volt over 3 plus 4 plus 5, which will equal to 120 over 12, which will equal to 10 amps. To calculate voltage across each resistor, now apply Ohm's law again. V1 will equal to I1 times R1. I1 is equal to I because we have the same current for the three resistors. So V1 will equal to 10 amps times 3 ohm, which will equal to 30 volt. Apply the same rule for R2. V2 will equal to I times R2, which will equal to 10 times 4, which will equal to 40 volt. V3 will equal to I times R3, which will equal to 10 times 5, which will equal to 50 volt. Please note that if you add up 30 plus 40 plus 50, it will give you 120 volt. So the voltage of the battery will equal to the sum of the three voltage drop across the resistors. This is something called KVL or Kirchhoff's voltage law, which we will discuss later in another video. For another example, we have three parallel resistors. In the last example for series resistors, we have the same current passes through each resistor. But here for parallel resistors, we have the same voltage across each resistor. To calculate the current through each resistor, let's apply what? Sure, arms low. I1 will equal to V1 over R1. V1 here is the voltage across the first resistor. V1 will equal to V, the battery voltage, since we have the same voltage of the battery for each resistor. So I1 will equal to 24 volt over 3 ohm, which will equal to 8 amps. I2 will equal to 24 volt over 4 ohm, which will equal to 6 amps. I3 will equal to 24 over 6 ohm, which will equal to 4 amps. Back to one of our latest videos about series and parallel connections, we can calculate the total resistance by applying this rule. 
1 over r total will equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3, which will equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. At last, r total will equal to 1.333 ohm. So, in this simplified circuit, I total will equal to the battery voltage over R total. So, I total will equal to 24 volt over 1.333, which will equal to 18 amps. Please note that I1 plus I2 plus I3 will equal to 18 amps, which is the same as I total. This is KCL or Kirchhoff's current law which we will discuss in another video. Feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.